Hey family, did you guys hear about that alleged Patreon account ran by Jocelyn Savage, one of mm. R. Kelly's girlfriends? Let's find out if it's real. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Trinity Oracles and we are three psychic sisters. We've been doing psychic readings since birth. This is Candace, I'm Jasmine, and Erica is missing because she <laughs> is sick. But for those of you that, you know, don't know about us, you can check out all of our correct celebrity predictions in the comment section below. Mm -hmm. And also, if you want to know if the Trinity Oracle Psychics are the psychics for you, check out our Yelp reviews, our Facebook reviews, and check out all of the reviews plastered all over our website. So let's get started into this R. Kelly drama. Mm -hmm. Candace, you know the details. I don't really know them, so tell them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically, one of R. Kelly's girlfriends by the name of Jocelyn Savage they're alleging that she made a Patreon account. You could pay, if you guys, for those of you who don't know what Patreon is, Patreon is a, a website where you could, people could pay you for information. They're saying that allegedly Jocelyn set up this account and you could pay her, I don't know, $3, $10, however much she has on that, on that Patreon site. And then once you pay her, you get info about R. Kelly. And they're saying that she's saying some pretty juicy stuff mm -hmm. on there. Like she was pregnant by him. He forced her to get abortions. Mm -mm. All this other stuff. But the thing is, Jocelyn Savage's sister, Jai Savage, went on Instagram Live and did a video saying that um, that's not um, her sister. She thinks that's all fake. So we're going to get into it and see <laughs> if it's real or not. All right. So what's the first question? Yeah. The first question is, is the Patreon account real? Oh, you know, R. Kelly might be mm. need some money. He that's said, what people are. Put, put the details out. Yes. She even on the Patreon account, she even talked about Aaliyah. Aaliyah was one of R. Kelly's victims. She was saying some pretty interesting stuff on that. Really? Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. Is it real? Did R. Kelly put her up to it? Yeah, is it real? Is that Patreon account real? It is a money grab. Mm -hmm. It's a money grab. I think it's by R. Kelly and his camp. Um, what are you getting? I got it actually is real, but it's funny when I connected with Jocelyn's energy. She said, yeah, you know, um, it's not who you think it was running it. It's mm -hmm. like people think it's me, but it's actually somebody else. Like maybe one of R. Kelly's friends or one mm -hmm. of my friends and they just made me the face of it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. I don't, I, I feel like the truth card, but it's like trapped in fear card. She's like, oh my God, I do not want to be, oh, you know, I don't want to be a part of this, but they ended up using her anyway. Yeah. And I got the deception and envy card as well. You know, I actually feel like Azrael is a part of this. I, I got that too. As, I feel like yeah. Azrael is the one who's running the account. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. I feel like R. Kelly you know, has Azriel put in this stuff out or R. Kelly's camp or people mm -hmm. associated with him. I am like getting... the puppet master mm -hmm. and everybody else is just doing <laughs> I am yeah. getting that they are running out of money. I, I'm getting it. I almost feel like they have a bill at Trump Tower that's getting racked up and they could be it kicked, getting paid. Kicked. It needs to get paid. Um, and there's some other people that need to, you know, get paid. But I actually feel like Azriel is the one mm -hmm. who's running the account too. or the mastermind behind mm -hmm making this that's what i'm getting all right next question so the next question was did r kelly put her up to it he did yes it's not a fake account oh man um well the next was what are their intentions money they need money mm -hmm. i see asriel being like man we need money that's yeah. at this vision where she's like man we need money um money's getting low i almost feel like Either R. Kelly's team is like, we can't support you guys in your lifestyle anymore. All this money's going to the lawyers. All this, mm -hmm. and it's like, Azriel started thinking about what we could do. You know, people want to know our business anyway. You know, um, I do see that they, you know, got the go ahead though mm -hmm. from maybe R. Kelly or something of that nature. Or someone who stands in for him and mm -hmm. makes decisions that R. Kelly trusts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I got it was. Asriel, if you said I got Asriel, then there's somebody else. Like mm -hmm. they're all in on it, but Jocelyn's the main one that they pushed up there. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like it, but 
Mm -hmm. She's trying to be the face of it. Yeah. What is next for this Patreon account now that Jocelyn went and spilled the tea? She said some stuff in there. I was like, that R. Kelly, you know, the whole pee thing. She said that is true. <laughs> she said she was pregnant. Yes. And is Aaliyah, that... she talked about Aaliyah too. Really? Yeah, she said Aaliyah was, you know, R. Kelly's first victim yeah. of that. His, you know, whole abusive ways. So let's see if there's any truth to what they're putting out. Yeah. Is there truth to what they're putting out anyways? There could be, they could be, you know, making up lies. You know, let's see here. I'm getting, there's like half truths mm -hmm. and lies. Is I got the positive movement forward card. I'm getting that R. Kelly put um, them up to saying stuff that people already know, like the whole pee thing. Like, he's like, oh, you know, people already know that I do stuff like that. So just go with it. Like, he's telling them bits and pieces that people already know. So more stuff doesn't come out. So people are like, oh, my God, R. Kelly did what? Yeah, I'm getting, they're following the gossip blogs. Yeah. And they're just, they're yeah. just putting it all, um, they're putting it all Known out there. stuff that we already know, so. We're distracted because people exactly. still can't get over that pee thing. <laughs> I can't. I would never be able to get over it either. <laughs> Especially when, uh, what's his name? Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle, yeah. yeah. I piss on you. Yeah. Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, this is stuff that's already known. They're mm -hmm. not going to drop any bombs that we don't expect. The only bomb, I'll tell you this, and I'm, I'm going to be straight up. I really feel like Jocelyn is going to there's going to be a set up meet and greet between Jocelyn Savage and her parents mm. coming up soon coming up soon um so you know get ready to to hear about that because mm, she sort of was like she hasn't said like she's like I haven't heard from her so that's coming up yes yes and can you guys imagine getting all this insight you know mm. for your own personal life with Trinity Oracle so you know book your session now go to trinityoracles.com mm. that link is in the description box below and if you guys are enjoying this video, subscribe so you can get more insight or more celebrity gossip. Not more insight, mm -hmm. but more celebrity gossip and different things like that. So definitely subscribe now, like, and hit that little notification bell so you'll be the first to know you don't miss out on any of these videos, okay? Right. Let's see. Now, what's next, what's next? for okay. Asriel, Jocelyn? Yeah, what's next for the girls? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Kelly's really, really trying to get out of that. Mm -hmm. I know he's in jail. He's really, yeah. really working on He's like, trying to put out anything. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, he's really trying to get out. I will tell you guys this. Um, either Jocelyn, Jocelyn, I think it's Jocelyn, is going to start. Hold on. I want to look into it. Go ahead and I, I want to see something. What are you getting next for them? Let me make sure. Um, I'm getting... Asriel might do another interview. They said she has a um, Instagram. She mm -hmm. said this is my real Instagram deal. Like this is her real page. I do see her kind of making remarks on her Instagram page about her music. I see her coming like trying to distract everybody by being like, "Oh, you know, I do sing. You know, don't forget my talents." Type of thing. Trying to, she's really trying to like pull the wool over your eyes, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I see that. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to say this. As this is all going down, Jocelyn is actually trying to get out. I do see Jocelyn, either she's throwing people under the bus now, mm. or she will be throwing people under the bus. Especially after this impromptu meet and greet with her parents, mm. we could start hearing Jocelyn say things. Mm -hmm. I also pre-channel, I had pre-channel about, um, what's her name, Azrael, I think my card's fell. But I had pre-channel about Azrael, I see Azrael working out a book deal. Mm -hmm. There's a book coming out. Um, Azrael is going to, it's not, I don't feel like she's writing about the R. Kelly saga. I feel like she's writing about her life growing up. Mm -hmm. um, Azrael could talk about her parents. She could talk about her mother. Well, of course, her parents are her mother. But mm -hmm. talk about her parents. Talk about her upbringing and her lifestyle. Um and one of them, Azrael, I think Azrael's got an album in the works. I feel like these girls are about to start venture, venturing, mm -hmm, venturing out, out more into the yeah. public. Because they need the money. They're not seeing... R. Kelly is no longer the cash cow. 
and they're not seeing R. Kelly is going to be their key to success anymore. Not even their key to mm-hmm. success. R. Kelly's not going to be able to keep up their lifestyle. So these two women are like, yeah, we yeah. need to figure yeah. out ways to make money. Because once R. Kelly goes to jail, That's no more money for them. No more money. No more money for us. I actually, I honestly feel like R. Kelly's money is dry, mm-hmm. drying up. Whatever little bit of money he does have. I feel like it's drying up. And the closer we get to trial, the less and less people that are going to be supporting R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. So whatever little funds he does have coming in, them people are like, you know what, let me take that check back and put it in my pocket. You know, instead of, you know, giving it to R. Kelly and his camp or something of that nature. Get ready though for, you know, some of these girls that have dealt with R. Kelly, they're going to start spilling names of donors who've been giving money to R. Kelly. Mm. get ready get ready you know mm. it's almost like it's like a donor list or something mm. somebody's gonna start leaking more intimate details about what wow. goes on um i feel like it's someone close to jocelyn or someone who used to be in r kelly's camp i feel like it could be a collection of girls mm-hmm. be a collection of girls coming out with more details i don't know if lifetime is lifetime making a second one they a said they were movie? gonna make a second okay Okay. Run around of it. Like an update, but then they're going to do it again. Okay. When this second R. Kelly thing comes out, one of them girls, I almost feel like one of these girls is connected to Jocelyn. Mm-hmm. I feel like Jocelyn's ready to get out. But anyways, one of these girls is going to be dropping, who knows, insight. You see this visualization card? Who knows a lot of insight? They have the insight details. When they get on this, this, uh, that documentary. That documentary. I'm, I'm way up there. Couldn't come down. <laughs> when they, you know, get in this documentary, they're dropping names. Mm-hmm. If they don't drop them on the documentary, the names are going to get leaked either during the documentary or after. So it's like a list. I got it. It's like, it's like a black book thing of people. Yes. Like people who were known in the industry who were like, cancel R. Kelly, but lo and behold, you guys were giving him money underneath the table. Exactly. Yeah. Like we could find out R. Kelly had like a little sex cult, so people were sleeping. Mm-hmm. Not only R. Kelly, but they're. But I feel like what's gonna come out, governors, oh god, well-known artists, yeah, um, people big in the community who were part we all of some, down. We all <laughs> got down. <laughs> and we're gonna hear like we already people are already saying oh some type of sex cult, but we're gonna hear like mm-hmm. no, this is like an official red light room sex cult, something of that nature. Politicians, governors. Uh, producers, I got some producers, producers up in there, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they've they, they've all been with Jocelyn Savage and all the girls, <laughs> all the girls. So names about to get, they about to get dropped. So get mm-hmm. ready, <laughs> get ready. It's, um, it's crazy because I see it as people um, who do you. do the documentary when they do it again. Mm-hmm. I see it as people who were like, um, they were popular. Oh. Like they were, they were popular at one point, and then they have maybe like a one hit wonder or something like that, mm. and they're going to be like, oh, well, you know, I didn't want to be part of R. Kelly's group, so my career got shut down. I was blacklisted. Oh, type of people. That's why I kept hearing a black ball list. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, you guys remember my song? I did this. R. Kelly produced it, but when I when I didn't want to be part of this whole ring group mm-hmm. cult type thing, uh, R. Kelly shut down my career. Mm. That's what I'm getting. Mm. Wow. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look. Mm-hmm. Okay, look. This is eternal love. Yeah. This is in the past, though. So these are people who were connected with yeah. Kelly. This is have confidence, but it's upside down. So what happened was these people at the mm-hmm. time, they were like, oh, my God, my record's going to get put out. I'm doing well. And, you know, I also get a lot of people that didn't sleep with our Kelly. Yeah. It's like if you didn't, like, <laughs> you got this eternal love or... card. If you weren't down for anything, like, oh, you know, you could be my girlfriend. They're like, I don't want to be your girlfriend. And then he's like, okay, then, fine, then. And then next thing you know, nobody's working with you and stuff like that. Like, he, he knows how to shut people yes. off. And I love yeah. when the cards match what yeah. we're saying. Look yeah. at this. Detached from the situation. He cuts your ass out. Chop. Look at It's weird. I keep seeing, I don't know. It's a lot of men. Well, it, I thought, it's weird. I keep seeing um, Free from 106 and Park. That's who keeps coming up in my, really? in my I keep seeing her, like. Because, you know, she disappeared from BET. Yeah. I don't know. She keeps popping up in my head. I could be wrong, but if it does happen, let me know. Because <laughs> I keep seeing her. That she's a possibility. Like, yeah. She might be, like, saying some stuff. 
Shit, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Like, she keeps popping up in my head. I know AJ better watch out because his name is going to come up in the scandal. Well, allegedly, like AJ, Savage. Well, allegedly, AJ was involved in some, like, assault cases. Oh, and I heard about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something about AJ may have been sleeping with Jocelyn Savage at one time. Free knows a lot, though. That she keeps popping up in. I wouldn't Free be surprised. I got this. Time I got the Accelerated Motion card. Free, where are you at, Free? It's weird. Like, she keeps popping up in my... I keep seeing yeah, her. Yeah, what are you getting, though? Like, you, you see that she's going to be in the documentary? I see her making an appearance. Like, our really? Kelly came on our show, came on Long Sisson Park. Um, maybe his behavior was weird. I do see her saying something. Mm -hmm. Like, I met him. I used to hang out with him. Stuff like that. It's funny. I, it's weird. I keep seeing her. Yeah. Well, dang. So, dang, Free. Because Free yeah. did disappear and AJ mm -hmm. kept moving on. Yeah. When he did make an appearance. Well, it's funny because allegedly Free got pregnant by Jay Z. That's what people are saying. What? Yeah. Yes. She was Dang. with Jay Z. You know how Jay Z and R. Kelly are kind of linked. Exactly. <laughs> linked up. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> that's what allegedly happened. They said she had a baby. Wendy Williams even reported this. Free Free had a baby with Jay Z. <laughs> oh, like it's still alive. Oh, she got an abortion? I don't know. I didn't read much in that story. I just know that Charlamagne and Wendy Williams were talking about it. Maybe she did have that baby and got paid off. And on. they even talked about the hospital. Wendy Williams, like, this is the hospital she had it at. Yeah, Wendy Williams knew all the details. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Dang. Dang. Or I could, I even feel free being like, oh, well, when R. Kelly did come to the show, he did have girl, young girls with him. Mm. Type of thing. So Free has some type of connection yeah. that's going to come out, something. like during this documentary yeah. or something of that mm -hmm. nature. If she doesn't go on the documentary, I do see her like talking on the radio, putting about on a piece or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Well, damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, book your session with the Queen. <laughs> After that. After that, book your session. New Year's is coming. Go to TrinityOracles.com. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, donate. Donate if you guys are enjoying you know, Trinity Oracles videos. We've had a couple people donate and we Thank really you. appreciate the donation. Yeah. So <laughs> we appreciate it. So if you feel inclined, you know, donate. Um, until next time, guys. Bye. Bye.